Shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Hope you now enjoy the vlog. So, guess where we are now? You choo 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 choo. We are in Accra, Ghana. Choo choo choo. Okay, babe, do you want to say hi to my country? You? you know what he just did, you guys? He choo choo choo. Tried it. We arrived at the airport and this is the name they had. But then it's a pass, that's apparently my surname. Yeah. But it's all good. We knew he was the right man because he had a good smile. Creeping on this gorgeous wedding. Oh my god. So Dennis is finally back after getting the tickets from the festival today and I gotta run downstairs real quick. I just wanna show you this adorable Kente outfit that his mom had made for me like a year ago and I was like waiting for the perfect opportunity to wear it. And now I'm finally wearing it. It's so, so cute. Literally, Dennis's mom arranged and coordinated everything, but his aunt made it. And it was so sweet of her. She like custom made, it's two piece, but this piece is kind of long. And it's a skirt and like a, I don't know, open frill top. I've got my little Fendi cowboy boots. And yeah, Afrochella, we coming to slay. Happy New Year. You guys, I met freaking Naomi Campbell. I met Naomi Campbell. Let's just let's just discuss, okay. We took a nap right before the ball dropped because we were just really tired. We actually slept through, technically we kind of slept through the countdown. Happy New Year, by the way. Oh my God, like how rude of me. But anyway, we just like been sleeping all day and then we went out to dinner at this place called Lord of the Wings, which is really cute. And we came home and we had every intention of going to the club to count down, you know, for New Year's Eve. But then we thought, why break tradition? <laughs> we normally don't end up doing anything on New Year's Eve. This shouldn't be any different. So instead of like partying through the countdown, we just basically slept and relaxed. And we didn't head to the club till around like one. Then we went to an after party after that, a private party. And pretty much everyone who is somebody is there. I refused, when I tell you refused, like I was not trying to meet Naomi, but she was there. And she's my idol okay i love her she's so funny but everyone that like knows her was there and they were like insisting they were like get up get up go say hi to naomi and i was like no i can't do it i can't stop you know obviously don't never meet your idols it may ruin it for you that's why i thought i was like no no i refuse i probably can't even look her in the eye what would i do i probably stutter I'd probably pee on my pants no i can't do it but anyway i met her she was really fun really sweet we made a cute little snapchat video for auntie pat auntie pat 
And um, now, basically because we partied until 5 a.m. and our makeup is still done, we actually wanna go visit the Cape, what's it called, babe, Cape Coast Castle? I think it's called Cape Coast Castle. But basically it is where the first enslaved Africans were um, taken here from Ghana. And it's so funny because 2019 marks the 400th year anniversary, which is like, probably has a lot to do with why there's a lot of big groups here, but the 400th year anniversary of when those slaves were taken here from Ghana, West Africa. A couple of people advised us that we get there like first in the morning, like leave at like 6 a.m. And at first we were like, we're not leaving. We're not waking up that early to get up and go, but we partied to basically 5, 6 a.m. So we might as well. So I'm just gonna take a quick refresh shower, keep the face beat, the wig slayed, and then we're gonna head out. Hello, good morning. We are still in Accra, having a great time. I technically already gave them the good morning. Thing. Oh, you giving them the good morning? I already gave them the good morning. Oh, yeah, because you told them. Oh, because you told them about now. Give them the story about me. Oh yeah, I'm gonna sleep now because we're tired. Jackie's laughing at me. I don't know why. <laughs> no, I'm not laughing. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna sleep for that because it's a long drive, it's two and a half hours, potentially three. <laughs> We have arrived. What's the, what's, what's the history behind The history behind this castle is 1482, 507 years. Yeah. Built by the Portuguese. Yes. And over the up there is another castle called the Fort St. Jago. Yeah. Built by the Dutch. Okay. And this one of them is the compass. What's the compass for? The old internet to watch. Yeah. And this one, this one has a sun there. Yeah. Yeah. Good. You know a lot, man. Yeah. Thank you. This castle was finally captured from the Portuguese by the Dutch. They narrowed, they made this so to control movement and also to get the captives easily and also accurately counted. Do not know it. The room of no return. The last exit point. All I can say is, wow, what an insane, just surreal experience. Like, part of that site was like, not inside. Inside was obviously atrocious and just, it just felt evil there. But like, when you step outside and you see the beaches and the shores of Ghana, like, it's almost like a bittersweet, like beautiful, but like so much evil went down there. I don't know, I just I think it's always important to visit um, places like that because not that I'll ever forget what some of the people endured um, and are basically still enduring, but just understanding history and being aware of how history has the propensity to repeat itself is obviously super important. And um, I would definitely recommend you guys check it out if you ever end up in Ghana. It was like a two hour drive, but it was so worth it. Leaving at the butt crack of dawn was definitely worth it. And I don't know if, it, it, it like the drive here was even worth it. It's so scenic, beautiful. The Edmina people that live here are just, it's just like a really beautiful, un, it just seems like so untouched. Like, I want to, like, stop for, for a little swimsuit pic real quick. 
aesthetic. <laughs> it's really cute. It's really beautiful. It feels like we're on an island. It feels like we're in Hawaii or something. It's so beautiful. It's so, so beautiful. It's a trip. A trip I'll definitely never forget. A very unforgettable trip. God will always have a special place in my heart. Not just because of this, but just being that this is Dennis's. Sorry, I'm tired of my people. He's not sorry. I'm tired of my Ghanaian people. What is wrong with you lot? <laughs> Why are you lot so laid back and so chilled? I know you're not talking. And take, oh, just take long with everything. I thought, I thought Nigerian customer service was terrible. I honestly thought when I was in Nigeria, the customer service was terrible. I didn't think it could get any worse. But honestly, Ghana. <laughs> <sighs> my people, my people. I love you lot, but. Why does everything take so long and I have to repeat everything to you? I tell you exactly what I want. I repeat it five times and it comes and it doesn't even arrive on time. And then secondly, it doesn't come with everything I said. I'm tired. Please help me help you. I love you lot, but seriously, we have a lot of work. I, look, I went to a restaurant. I ordered chips and chicken. They come back firstly hour 30 minutes later and they bring me chips, I mean no, they bring me chicken and yam. I look at this and I'm like, I ordered chips, they're like, well the chips is finished, so we replaced it with yam. Well, if it was finished, why didn't you tell me? Why are you replacing it? Who, who says I like yam? It's not that I don't like yam, but what's to say I didn't like yam? And then you replace it and you've charged me. I'm tired, I love you lot, but you don't need to sort this out. Even another thing. This sounds like a self drag, cause you're the same exact way. I don't know why you mad. I don't know why you mad at them. <laughs> Okay, cool. And the um, don't, fall from don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> don't listen, Jackie. Anyway, as I was saying, my rant. I'm tired, people. You look, I'm, you're making me tired. Please, my people. I love you. Let's change for the better. Let's improve our customer service. Let's wake up. Let's wake up. But anyway, enough of my rant. God bless you. God bless Accra. God bless Ghana. God bless the people. So whilst in Ghana. Me and Jackie had the pleasure of meeting the owner of r and Luxury. We told her that we ran out of some body and facial products, um, especially now that we're extending. And she actually came through with some products for us. So I just want to thank her. It was nicely packaged. Thank you. And now we're going to use it right now. I really love the soap. I really love the soap. It's so good. It just feels nice on the body. Please use the lotion. Please use the <laughs> I am, babes. Okay, so we're about to change rooms to the presidential suite, but obviously I thought it would be a good idea to show you our current room, which was the junior suite that we got, which is a fairly good size, um, but because we lack a lot of space, we're very extra, hence why we wanted to go to the presidential suite, but for anyone that's come with a couple or friend, two people, this is sufficient. This is where we, this is the lounge area, we just finished having breakfast, this is the desk space, which I can't really have my socks and stuff in there because I'm packing to move into the new room. This is the TV area, which is the lounge area, which I was saying, which is on this side. You can watch TV when you have guests. And then you've got the bathroom, which is what I like. I like the fact that the bathroom, the, the, the toilet is separate from the bathroom, which is on the other side. You can actually go through here as well. So this is the bathroom. It's got the top amazing tub then you've got the great view we actually have a balcony that you can go outside which i'll show you in a minute then this is the bathroom two sinks more than enough room and then the massive massive shower room i was really impressed with this because this is a lot of space it's very hard to find a room that has a massive shower space you can fit a family in there so this is perfect height and size and then, of course, you can lock the door when you want to go to the toilet, when you're trying to, when you're having a, when you're doing number two and stink. And then this is our room. See the bed's a bit messy. And then outside, beautiful for you to wake up to. And you can see the swimming pool on the left side. So when you come here, I would say you suggest requesting poolside view, because I think it's amazing. And they always have a lot of weddings down there during Christmas time. And then this is the wardrobe space. 
So yeah, this is the Junior Suite people. So if you ever come to Kana, make sure you check out Kapinski. Good morning, good morning. Final day in Ghana. We are exhausted. We're gonna pay our final visit before we head out to the airport. Weather's nice, I'm tired, but we're gonna get through it. It's the last day, we've had a great time. The Christmas tree decoration is amazing behind you, babes. It's actually really cool. Does it still feel like Christmas? It never really felt like Christmas. I have to eat some real food. Some real, real Ghanaian food. Yes. Hmm. So this is Fifi, right? Yeah. Fifi. Ooh, weird. Is that peanut soup? Yes. Ooh. Damn, I'm trying. Are you your first time? Peanut soup. You excited, babes? Yeah, I am. You rave about it. I hope you all enjoyed the Ghana vlog. And I just want to end by reminding you to join Squarespace. Squarespace is a beautiful and powerful platform that enables people to create their own website. The platform has award-winning templates to choose from. It's an all-in-one platform. You don't need to be a techie person. You don't need to know how to code. It's user-friendly and that's what I love about it. Squarespace is used by a wide range of people such as artists, musicians, photographers, wherever they may be, check it out. You know what I love about it? You don't need to be a techie person. You don't need to have a technology background. You don't even have to have built a website in the past. If you're willing to learn, follow instructions, literally it's copy and paste, I kid you not. I have loved using the platform and I'm actually gonna show you um, in the next episode a website I'm currently building to give you like a brief overview on how to use it. It's fairly simple and with a bit of time consistency and commitment you can't give up because there's going to be times where you encounter things which may be difficult listen that's cool but they've also got a 24-hour support team that will answer any questions that you may have so definitely explore it because as you know the world wide web is a great way to promote something squarespace have been kind enough to offer our squad 10 percent of their first purchase and even better you get to use their free trial first so go to squarespace.com forward dash dennis and Jackie to get your 10% of your first purchase and also their free trial. But anyway, take care and remember to work smarter.